A slope can be defined as the mass of soil surface, which is inclined to horizontal. Slope can be categorized into two types, which is natural slope and man-made slope. The natural slope occurs naturally in mountainous location and is generated by natural forces such as wind, water, or snow, whereas the man-made slope is formed by human activity to facilitate infrastructure projects such as embankment and road cutting. A slope failure can be caused by hydrologic events such as prolonged rainfall and progressive soil saturation. Besides natural disasters like earthquake, may trigger excessive soil shaking and will lead to the loss of slope strength. Furthermore, erosion caused by wind and water can make the slope steeper and increase the tangential component of the driving force. Another factor is that the loss of vegetation due to deforestation has made it difficult for the soil to maintain root strength and prevent soil movement when saturated. The failure of a slope may lead to the destruction of infrastructure, loss of life, damage to land and loss of natural resources. Slopes must be stabilized to avoid failure or collapse by applying the slope stabilization method to the unstable or inadequately stable slopes. Geotextile is one of the methods that can be used. Geotextile refers to a permeable synthetic material used for soil improvement that is made from polyester or polypropylene polymers material where it is used for separation of soil layers reinforcement, filtration, drainage, and waterproofing. The main function of this material is to increase the stability or strength of soil and decrease the cost of construction. The fiber used to make geotextile can be categorized into two types, which are the natural fiber and man-made fiber. The natural fiber can be originated from plant, animal, or mineral origin. The most common used natural fiber in geotextile are jute and remy. Meanwhile, the man-made or known as synthetic fiber come from petrochemical derivative which exists in four polymeric families such as polypropylene, polyester, polyamide, and polyethylene. Geotextile can be classified into three major fabric based on its appearances and use. One of the fabrics is a woven geotextile which are made using a weaving technique where individual threads such as monofilament, fibrillated yarns, silk films or other material are woven together to create a uniform piece. It is ideal for separation and reinforcement purpose since it has a very high load capacity, is corrosion resistant and can be used for long period. Next is the non-woven geotextile that is made from continuous filament yarn or short staple fiber by a needle punching method, either chemically or thermally. It is widely utilized to solve drainage and filtration issue since it cannot be dissolved by water which protect geomembrane lining system from both interior and exterior penetration. Lastly, there are knitted geotextile which are formed by knitting several loops of yarn together. It has good flexibility and is cost effective which is ideal for soil reinforcement and embankment support. Now, I will continue for literature review. Slopes may be stabilized using a number of techniques, some of which are mechanical and the others are bioengineered according to a 2010 research by Lee and friends. The range of likely causes of slope instability include surface erosion brought on by wind or water to deep city complex or landslides. Next, the development of biodegradable geotextile constructed of natural fiber for use in slope stability and erosion management was the subject of a research by Kuma and Das in 2018. 
Synthetic geostyle Synthetic geotextile are viewed more critically and are less desirable than those manufactured from natural fibers or biofibers derived from resources that can be regenerated as environmental awareness and legal requirements have increased. Lastly, according to a 2011 research by Rawal and Sarah White, geotextile must be utilized to encourage the event the even and rapid growth of plants. Both natural and synthetic fibers are acceptable. However, because of their superior mechanical properties and durability, synthetic fibers are increasingly often used in civil engineering application. Natural fibers are less expensive, simple to get and healthier for the environment since they decompose in the soil. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Fatihah Ayu binti Ahmad Sapuan and I'm going to explain about the steps on how to install a geotextile on a slope in the methodology part. Firstly, site need to be prepared to secure a perfect contact between the geotextile and the soil surface where the installation area must be graded to neat lines and level, which entails the removal of trees, bushes, rocks or other obstructions. Second, the selection of material for geotextile must be following with the suitability of soil conditions and slope concern to ensure it was durable, offers strength, controls erosion, and is cost effective. Third, during delivery to the installation site, the geotextile need to be wrapped in protective coverings to prevent damage from mud, dirt, and debris as it may lead to defects or flaws in its fabric. Then, it shall be stored in a clean, dry location out of direct sunlight and from extreme hot or cold temperatures to avoid deterioration of its material. Fourth, to install a geotextile, a trench with a deep at least 6 inches deep and 6 inches wide is made on the top of the slope. Then, embed the geotextile in the trench and secure it by backfilling the anchor trench and tamping the earth firmly. Unroll the geotextile down the slope and loosely lay it without being stretched or twisted to confirm it to the surface irregularities. Ensure to overlap two adjacent rolls as specified in the side or at least 3 inches than stake or staple within the overlap. Fit, the installed geotextile has to be secured by anchoring it to the slope using pins made of steel or fiberglass, whether in the shape of U, L or T that have been approved and provided by the geotextile manufacturer. The circumen must be fastened along its edges and overlapping sections. Also, additional pins shall be inserted where necessary to prevent the geotextile from slipping or moving too much. The last step is to check the installation on the slope meticulously for any torn or punctured geotextile. If there is any damage to the geotextile, it must be repaired using the same type of geotextile as the present geotextile and overlaying it. the result and discussion, various varieties of geotextile were applied to slope region to perform research. Geotextile comprise geotextile made from 100% polylactic acid fibers, geotextile made from 35% natural fiber and 75% polylactic acid fibers, geotextile made from 75% natural fiber and polyfiber lactic acid 25%, and natural fiber geotextile made from 100% natural fiber. Three tests of tensile strength are conducted at intervals of 40, 80 and 100 and 20 days following planting. To be buried in the ground for 40, 80 and 120 days, geotextile made from 100% polylactic acid respectively show resident tensile strike of 70.19%, 60.79% and 58.82%. After 120 days of burial, there was no trace of 100% natural fiber geotextile indicating that they had loss of their tensile strength. This might be due to the fact that the natural fiber undergoes a higher priority hydrolysis effect than effect then does the lactic acid in which case microorganisms are responsible for breaking the polymer down into smaller components. Since fiber-based geotextiles are mainly intended for use during for use during the period of the time before the vegetation is formed, the weakening of their strength is not a concern when it comes to application that include the prevention of soil erosion and the stabilization of soil. In a field study from Leica on 2004, it was found that the vegetative growth of fiber-based geotextiles insulated slopes was 21% greater than that of slope with no isolation. This improvement in soil quality resulted from a 32% increase in inorganic carbon content due to geotextile microbial degradation in soil. In the present study, it was shown the soil degraded by the 
degraded by geotextile comprised of 25% native fiber and 75% polylactic acid were almost 3.7 times more fertile than those without geotextile degradation. The developed world used numerous materials and textiles goods to try to prevent natural disasters. As a result of the rapid pace of climate change, natural disasters are becoming more likely. Therefore, the goal of the entire world is to build sustainable roads, bridges and embankments. Geotextile can aid in this because of their functional quality. Although they must use it, the ASEAN region is behind in doing what have been taught. The geotextile market is expanding globally, so it is obvious that geotextile would dominate the global textile business in the future. It is utilized to create drainage systems and filtration system in addition to disaster prevention. It creates temporary highways, cutting costs in half compared to actual costs. In conclusion, it can be claimed that geotextile is a particular type of technical textile that has a significant impact on mitigating natural disasters. Additionally, it strengthens the soil layer surfaces. Thank you.